Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Selenium WebDriver, I am going to practically demonstrate retrieving all the data from the third column of the table. So let's get started. Here we have an example page which contains a sample table from which we have to retrieve all the data from the third column of the table. Okay. I'll copy this application URL and uh, open in the browser here. Let me open the browser and open the application URL in the browser. And here on this page, we have a table, sample table here. From the sample table, from the third column, all the data I want to retrieve, that is Delhi, Pune, Bangalore, Mumbai. Okay, this part. I'm talking about this part, Delhi, Pune, Bangalore, and Mumbai. This, this area, third column, data I want to retrieve. So you already know if you want to automate tables, right? The main important thing that you need to know is you have to be good with XPath expressions. We are able to create a proper XPath which can locate this uh, only the uh, data in the third column of the table, then you will be able to easily retrieve that. Okay. So right click somewhere on the page and inspect this, and you'll get the Google Chrome DevTools here. Right. And uh, Control F here, you have to write the XPath expression, or you can use a selector sub to write the XPath expression up to you. If you don't want to depend on this tools, uh, use the normal Google Chrome DevTools. Okay. Now, here I'll inspect this table. And uh, this is a table, guys, which got inspected. And uh, let me create an XPath expression for locating the table first. Double slash table at the rate ID is equal to table one, right? Table one. Now I located this entire table. In this table, now I would like to locate only the third column, that to only the data in the third column. How to do that? For that, double slash TR. If I give TR and say double slash TD of one. If I give that, you see first column, only the table data in the first column, you see all the rows, all the rows, but data in the first column like this. Okay. Here I didn't mention any row. That means only the column will be considered here. Okay. But if you want the third column data, so change it to three here instead of, if you would say two means second column data will come. Now if you say three means third column data will come. That is four elements. You see four elements are getting written Delhi, Pune, Bangalore, Mumbai. If you want to retrieve that. Switch to this PyCharm ID where you have some sample Selenium Python code already written for opening the Chrome browser for maximizing the browser window. Here we have to open the application URL. I'll copy this application URL and paste it here. And after going to that page here, I would like to copy this XPath expression and write down driver dot find element by dot by dot XPath. Give the XPath expression of that. Uh, third column of the table. Okay. Table data of the third column of the table. And here it will return you table data. Now write the for loop for data in table data. Okay. Write data dot text. The text between the tags of the table data will be retrieved. That is Delhi, Pune, Bangalore, and Mumbai will be retrieved. Now write down the print statement here. Directly print it all the data. So in the output, you will get Delhi, Pune, Bangalore, and Mumbai printed in the output console. Now simply say driver dot quit to close the browser. Now run the script. Observe that the last uh, column, that is third column data, Delhi, Pune, Mumbai, and whatever the other city that will be printed in the output console. So it has not been printed. Maybe there is some problem in the line 18, it seems. What is the line 18 saying? Okay, table data. It's correct only now. Here, find elements, you have to say. I said find element. There's a mistake. Find elements. Okay. Now run the script. It should work. Since that XPath expression is returning you multiple elements, you have to say find elements instead of find element. Okay. You see, Delhi, Pune, Bangalore, and Mumbai got printed in the output console. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye bye.